doing something <laughs> and I was gonna film from straight from the beginning of me doing this process but I wanted to kind of get the hang of it first which I still don't really got the hang of it because these braids are not the best um like if you guys could tell like it's um like they're, they're like bumpy like I don't know how to explain it but they're like twisty twisty I don't know um but basically this is my first time doing box braids on myself because, you know, I asked my mama to do them, but she told me no. So, me being me, and when I want something, I just try to do it myself. So, that's what I'm doing. So, I did all of these, and they are pretty freaking long. So, um, I'm going to show you guys what I'm using, what type of hair I'm using, and then, like, the process that I'm doing. But, the hair is all the way over there, so I got to go get it. So, I'll be back in two seconds. Okay, so I'm back. Um... So before I start showing you guys like the hair that I'm going to show, tell, which, tell you guys what I did. I cannot talk. Wow. So I'm going to tell you guys the process that I did to get to where I'm at to braid my hair. So obviously I blow dried my hair out because as we all know, I have naturally curly hair. So I blow dried my hair out. Um, so I washed and conditioned it with the Shea Moisture Wash and Go <laughs> line. I don't know if you guys know what that line is. Sorry, that was my daughter. But anyways, um... And then the products that I put into my hair before I blow dried it, I just put this um, Cantu for kids. It's actually Riley's, but um, I didn't want anything too heavy. And I know that kids products, they're not as heavy as like, uh, you know, other brands. I don't know. This is like the lightest product I had, I should say. Because I didn't want it to be too, too heavy, but I still wanted to have some moisture in my hair. So I used Her Curl Cream by Cantu. Um... And then I also use the Miracle Curls Curl Defining Oil with coconut, um, with coconut and Australian Jehovah Oil. So mm -hmm. I literally mix those two in my hand, just put that all over my hair, and then I blow dried it. Um, and as far as the hair that I'm using, I'm using this hair called Freetress Freetress Braid One Hundred and One. I don't know if you guys can see that. My lights are kind of bright. But um, in the color 1B, which I kind of wish I would have got a 2 because my hair is not 1B. It's lighter than that. But it is what it is. I'm making it work. Um, this, this hair costs $2.99. It's from my local beauty supply store. And it is in the, it's in 28 inches. So, um, yeah. Um, so that is the hair that I'm using. I already have a pack open because I'm... Um, already working on my hair and I already stretched the hair I forget how messy it is to be braids like this hair sheds so much so I already stretched the hair and to stretch the hair you just kind of hold it like taut but to the point where you can still pull um and that'll stretch it and give it like those like the flared in so it's not like blunt um at the ends um hopefully you guys can see this I'm gonna try to pull it in more when I'm actually doing my hair okay that's a little bit closer um and so I'm using uh this rat tail comb because I feel like it's a lot easier to cart like to get like the, like you know good parting um like I said my biggest issue is I don't like how it looks like bumpy like I don't know I'm just not figuring out how to do it on my own hair like to get, have it going all straight but um i'm doing about i don't even know i'm trying to get my parts as straight as possible and i want this has to be like four parts okay so let me put this away also these braids are supposed to be a lot bigger than what they are but i don't know it just didn't work out that way so I feel like these are about one inch parting sections. Um, so, um, oh, and then also I'm using the Shine and Jam to kind of um, tame my hair. 
So I just put that all around the section. And so what I'm doing at the base is I'm kind of like twisting it to get that like, to get it tight. Um, and then I also take some of the shining jam and just rub it down my hair like this to kind of straighten out those ends. So that gives me like um, easier. Um, so yeah, that's how I prepare my sections. Um, and then I go in with hair. I'll take some hair and I'm taking like one inch like pieces or maybe a little bit more than one, one inch. This is kind of a lot. Let me take a little bit away. Um, so yeah. And then I kind of like pull this a little bit more. That's how these braids are so long because I just felt like it wasn't stretched enough. But yeah, so this is how I do it. So I... I don't know what this method is called. I don't even know if it's a, a real actual method. Um, I know a lot of people will like separate the hair and then like loop it. I don't do that because I don't know how to do that, especially not on my own hair because I've never done it. Like I said, this is my first time doing box braids on myself um, or just in general. <laughs> I've never done box braids on any box braids on anybody. So yeah, so we have our section. And like I said, you just kind of twist that. Like I said, you just twist that. It comes down, but. And so basically, hopefully you guys can see this, but I still need to use my mirror, so. So basically what I do is I take this and I use my hair as the third piece because my hair is long enough to do so. Um, so I just flip it around. I grab my hair. I loop. So the braiding hair is being looped around my hair like this, like so. I pull the braiding hair underneath my hair. And then I don't really know how to explain how to braid. <laughs> but if you know how to braid, you'll you get you'll get my gif. But yeah, so then I just continue to braid that hair down. And it's just like a regular three strand braid. So I'm just braiding it down, down, down. And I just keep braiding it like this until like I need to like switch my hands. I know these are not gonna be perfect Actually, this one is fine. Oh, wow. Wait a minute, y'all. Did I figure it out? Do y'all see how like straight that is compared to like this? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. I figured it will come to me eventually. Okay, so I have to braid under the whole time. Okay, maybe that's what my mom was trying to tell me. She's like, you gotta braid underneath. And I'm like, well, I don't really, like I know how to braid, but I don't be knowing all these like, oh, underneath, overhand, Dutch braid, whatever, frick. Cause I'm not a braider, but I can braid like, you know. Okay, so here we go to this part. Um, so here we go. So now if you guys can see, I have three strands right here, right? one is being my hair and we're getting to the bottom of my hair so what i do is i take some from i kind of do it like this and then we just continue to braid and also um once i get to like this part I like to take some more shine stuff and just like blend my natural hair into the braiding hair more. And like I said, I should have gotten a, a lighter color, but it's fine. So 
so yeah and then you're just gonna braid that all the way down and i know some people be like stopping and then going to the next one but like i feel like if i stop and have to go back and braid all these braids all over again i'm gonna be i'm not gonna do it so we gonna just braid the whole entire braid as i go because i'm not trying to so this is what i decided to do since i'm quarantined working from home can't really go nowhere so it's like why not take the time to braid my hair i've been wanting braids i did go out today to get the braiding hair but the beauty supply store is like literally five minutes from my house so i didn't have to go far and i went out and came right back in right back in so only thing is is i could get better as i go if i ever decide to do these again <laughs> Cause baby, as long as this is taken, I feel like once I'm done with this this first section, I'm gonna be like, all right, I'm done. I'm gonna try not to give up, y'all. Okay. So there we go, we just part up our section. I'm gonna take some jam. There we go. Um, take that and twist the hair around and just start braiding as if no that wasn't tight enough it's like I want these to be tight not super tight because my hair I don't want to like damage it from my hair being so tight but I want it tight enough that it lasts a little while these braids probably ain't gonna last me that long maybe like two to three weeks one, because they're not professionally done. Two, because my hair is so um, soft, I guess you could say. Like my texture is not like super coarse or anything like that. So styles like this usually don't last in my hair, but they still cute, you know? So you got us when you wanna do it.
checking in and I am done with the first half of my hair. <laughs> oh. And now I have this side to do and then I probably call it a night because it is like 10 o'clock at night and I'm tired and I still have to work tomorrow even though I'm working from home I still have to work so I don't want to be tired and I have to work in eight hours ship so yeah I think I'm just gonna do this side as much as I can before I fall asleep and then um yeah I'll probably finish it tomorrow but I just want to check in and show you guys how it's coming but yeah these are the braids so far um i don't think i'm doing that bad of a job i mean like i said there's some bumpiness and like whatever but like i said it's my first time doing them so i'm not expecting perfection so yeah like i said i'm gonna do go ahead and do this side and if i finish this side tonight i will come back and check in and show you guys um this side being done otherwise i will see you guys tomorrow okay guys so i am back and i'm done with the front of my head this literally took forever i feel like no but i started at about like probably like close to nine like 8 30 ish nine and it is like 12 so not let's just say i started at 9 10 11 12 three hours to do this part of my hair and i still have the entire back to go um, but I'm calling it a night because I do have to work in the morning. So, um, this is what they look like. Um, I don't think they look that bad. I think for my first time, they actually look really, they actually look pretty good. So, we will see once the back is done. I'll probably do that. I'm going to start the back tomorrow after work. Um, yeah, this is like the bottoms. Um, let's see if I can show you guys how long these came out to be. Uh, okay so yeah they're coming down like super long like some of these I might have to trim because it's just too long for no reason so I'm gonna just like clip it off um but yeah so this is the front of my hair like I said and then I will come to you guys tomorrow when I'm finishing and just show you guys that process of course um but yeah so I'll get to see you guys tomorrow hello guys so it is the next day like i said um it is currently 6 21. i got off work at five i probably started doing my hair at about five uh maybe like 5 20 ish i don't know so basically i've been doing it my hair for an hour and i did let's see well all of these braids i don't know how many of it so um i'm currently you know in the process of doing the back of my hair i'm gonna turn around and show you guys don't judge me if my parts are not great or if these braids are not that great either because i'm doing my hair myself for the first time but um this is what the back of my hair looks like so far um yeah i have like all of this left to go um my mom is helping me part the back of my hair because i literally i can't like I did like the first section and then I had to have her part the second. So, but I am doing like the little parts and I don't know how they look to be honest. But yeah, so this is my hair so far. And um, yeah, I'm just about to keep going. Um, I'll do a little bit of the back on camera and then yeah, let's move this a little bit closer. Okay. So I got my mom to part off my hair. Let me get this out of my face. It's gonna annoy the fricks out of me. I feel like I have clips everywhere. Okay. So yeah, um, I'm not really gonna talk through this. I kind of explained to you guys in the beginning of the video what I'm doing and my process. So, um, so yeah, we just gonna get her done. I'm about to speed this up and uh. I feel like if I talk a lot, it's going to slow me down. And I'm not trying to be doing this all night. So...
my last braid. The last braid, literally my last chunk of hair. Like this is perfect. Like I had the perfect amount of hair. It's crazy. So I'm so excited to finish this last braid and then I'm done. Um, this wasn't that bad. I mean, it took me three hours last night to do the front part of my hair and then it is 8.09 now. So about three hours to do the back of my head, which was not bad. So six hours total, like if I was to do this in one day, uh, which I mean, that's about right. Like most... Um, Times it takes that long with if you go get your hair braided at a, like a salon or something um and then for me doing it myself at that like I feel like this was not bad at all um I just happy I'm done because my fingers are getting to that point where they're burning which which I'm really shocked that like my hands don't hurt more than they do. Like they're a little like, okay, like we're getting there, but like they don't hurt that bad at all. So if I ever decided to do these again, I definitely will, like I said before, like I definitely will try to them a little bit smaller, maybe try to slow down and do them a little bit neater, but um, I don't know. Like I said, this is my first time. And I feel like as I've gone on, like they're, they've gotten a little less like um, bumpy. Like you see, like these are like more straight now. As of like the front was like a lot more like not straight. And like, I don't know, like they were like turning. I don't know how to explain it. But I feel like as I've gone on, they've gotten a lot better. So maybe the next time they will be you know pretty good and then um the one thing i did my mom told me like i need to have more control over like how much hair i'm grabbing because i've like some of my like my hair sections that i was grabbing are like bigger than other others so i kind of have to do better at measuring like how much hair i'm pulling for each section so um all in all it wasn't that bad and I will, I would do it again. Okay, so before I pull the front of my hair down, I'm gonna show you guys the back again really quickly. I'll show you it all done. This is the way that I'm gonna see it too because, okay. So this is the black, the black, wow. This is the back of my hair. I don't know how the parts look. I don't really know how the braids look or how they're falling, but this is the back. So let's pull this down. Oh, I didn't even have it like in a real ponytail. Okay. I really don't like the way I parted the front of my hair. Like I wish I would have parted it differently, you know? I don't like how it looks like a big ass part right here. Like I don't like that at all. But um, yeah, these are my braids. These are my braids. I didn't count how many I put in there, so. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna dip the ends of them. But honestly, I don't think I did that bad, to be honest. Like, this is probably how I'll wear it because I don't like how the big old part is. So I'll probably like wear it like something like this, or either like half up, half down. But yeah, you guys, I did my own box braids. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, so let me go get this water so that I can dip these braids. I'm probably gonna like trim them a little bit like this. Like, I'll show you guys how I do it. Okay, so this is how I trim it. So like, y'all see how like this is like super, sorry, like uneven. So I take the texturizing scissors because it won't cut it bluntly. And what I do is I go down and I just, Kind of like peel that hair and see it's still not like blunt but it shortened it a little bit so i'm gonna do it on this side as well 
You're going to peel that hair off. Okay. Okay, y'all, so we are in the last part of this video. I don't know if y'all can see that, but I have a hot cup of water. And I also have a towel because baby, <laughs> I am not about to burn myself right now. Okay, so here we go. So we're gonna dip and catch, <laughs> okay? Dip and catch. are dipped all right guys so we have reached the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed um like i said my hair i'm loving it like for my first time doing this i don't think i did that bad you know there's a, a few bumps and crunks you know on crunks on whatever um but overall i feel like this didn't take me that much time at all i mean it took me two days but within those two days it's three hours a piece and i feel like that is pretty good um if you're gonna break it up into a uh, two-day span um i did the top first back and like i mean i need to help parting the back but i mean I'm pretty sure if I really, really tried, like it wouldn't have been that bad if I did it myself, but I wanted my mom's help. So um, yeah, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up, um, you know, comment, subscribe, let me know if there's anything else that you wanna see. It was fun kind of filming this video and like doing this style. Um, if you guys have any questions, just leave them down below. Well, I was really interrupted by a phone call, so I don't really remember where I left off. But anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any video suggestions, please leave them down below. And I will catch you guys in the next video.